Hello, everyone out there. It's Jeff Thurman from Home Renovation DIY. And in this live show today, we are going to talk about everything that the big box stores don't want you to know about the industry and about how it is that they are, how should we say, concealing some obvious truth from you as far as it relates to the quality of the products that they're selling and the price that they're selling at and what your alternatives are to them. They've done a masterful job marketing themselves over the last couple of decades as the only option for homeowners. So here's the deal. Um, there was one primary goal that every manufacturer of every product in the, in the building industry has, and that is not to sell to you. It's to sell to the builders, the renovation contractors, the remodelers. They don't give a rip about you. Okay? They don't start off their business meeting even thinking about any of you, the homeowner. <sighs> Let me say this again. The primary goal of every manufacturer has nothing with you in mind. They want to sell to a builder, a renovator, a contractor, because if they can get you get a contractor on board or a builder on board and they can say, hey, our system is the best system. You can use our system and it'll make you money. It's efficient. We're going to train your team. Okay, which is a big thing because the systems need training. Then you can go out and say, now I'm going to be this system oriented. You can market that system to your clientele. Okay. And then you can be efficient and you can be uh, effective and you can be knowledgeable about a product as a construction worker. But then when it comes to the homeowner, you get the leftovers. Like that's just the way it works. Like when you go to a trade show, a couple weeks ago, I was in Vegas, trade show, okay? Um, thousands of manufacturers out there. Not one of them was talking to homeowners. And not one of them is going to be at your local community home and garden show this spring or next fall. They are not going to be there. What they're going to have is all of the construction companies from your neighborhood who have been indoctrinated and trained on their product, representing the product for them to you, the homeowner. And not only are you going to have to go and listen to all of these companies tell you what their product is and why they're better, they're going to say, I'm going to supply it and install it. You sit back and get out of my way because that's our business model. So if you're a DIYer and you want to install a quality product and you don't want to have to pay two or three times more than you should, where do you go? And that's what this is all about today. Let's talk about where to shop as a DIYer and get contractor pricing. You can get it. The market's changing. I'm going to give you all the details. But first, I want to let you in a little another secret. There's no such thing as a traditional three-bed, two-bath home. Everything is different. Every real estate market across country, coast to coast, is regional, right? So California, New York, Florida, northern Alabama, middle of somewhere, Colorado, okay? You all have different markets. Now, um, I'm going to get a little bit of assistance here. We're going to move the camera over, and we're going to show you a little price point. And this is going to be a little demonstration just to give you an understanding of what it is that's going on in the marketplace as far as product quality is concerned. Because it's different with cars, okay? We sell a lot of different cars. So if you want to go from A to B, we're going to sell you a cheap car. We're going to sell you an expensive car. We're going to give you all the different bells and whistles, different sizes. Oh, you got kids. You don't have kids. Oh, yeah. You know, you got to compensate. You need a sports car. All different options, right? But here in housing, it's different because we're using square footage as a model. We're using three bed, two bath as a model. You'd think that the same house built in the same, in, in one city would be the same price as it is in another city, but it isn't. Because supply and demand, the workforce, the taxation, all the different government policies, everything comes into play. So let's take a look at this. Right here. We got a $100,000 house, $200,000 house, 400, 500, 800 million, three bed, two bath. Now, depending on who you are, it's really difficult now because we've increased the, the, the confusion factor of what product is right for you right? So first of all, shout out to everybody who's living in a three bed, two bath, and you're looking to renovate. Here's where the confusion begins because the, the box stores traditionally deal with this market here up to the half million. This is where they specialize. Okay. They don't sell products to homeowners who are living in 800 or a million or a million five or, you know, 14 bed, 17 bathroom, 20 acres. Uh, I, they don't sell that market. 
So right away, right out of the gate, you've been eliminated as a homeowner from buying quality products for your house. And if you've been a fan of this channel for a while, you know what I say. If you're going to DIY it, buy quality, right? Because 20% of the cost of a renovation is material. The other 80% is labor and taxes. And you've eliminated that by getting involved. So why the heck wouldn't you put in quality product so that you can change the valuation of your home from a two to a 400,000 over the next few years? Don't forget that when you do that, when you sell that house, that extra money you made, that 200,000, yeah, most places there's no income tax on that, right? So you can make an extra 200,000 after tax. That is money in the bank. And that is why we do this. It is the oldest secret in the book is to buy an asset increase its value and then sell it and not have to pay tax. That's why the law was written like that. It's for rich people to get richer, but every homeowner has the ability to do this. So you're going to be stuck in a market where the box store is saying, okay, so up until a certain threshold, we're going to supply products to that price point. Okay. What about everybody else? Because what do you say? The paint store is selling paint to paint this house. The paint store is also selling paint to paint this house out of the same store. So what's the deal? They have seven different lines. Yep, they do. Home Depot, Lowe's, other stores, they don't have seven lines. They got three or four because they're focused on a smaller market of people that are almost forced into doing it themselves because they can't afford a contractor. All right. And that group of people is getting bigger and bigger every year. And the number of contractors is shrinking every year. So you need to understand the conditions of the marketplace are dictating that they're selling to the bottom half of the income earners with a bottom of their barrel product and still trying to make a fortune. Now, keep that in mind. Let's get back to my notes. Now, where to shop? Let's get down to the good stuff, right? This is where it gets fun. <sighs> Here's some principles that I want you to pay attention to, okay? Um, you get what you pay for. Every business is going to turn a profit one way or another. They're, they're going to give you, um, they're, they're going to sell a lot of volume with, with small margin. Or they're going to sell a little bit of volume with huge margin and low value, okay? So you get what you pay for. Overhead's really the key, okay? Whenever you see a business that's got uh, the McDonald's location, the most premier corner right up there the lights highway to highway you know that's the most expensive real estate in town i'm going to guarantee you whenever you see something that's the most expensive real estate in town you're not getting value in your construction material because the builders and the, and the contractors aren't shopping there that's just the way it works okay um if you've never heard of a company before it's because they're not advertising because they don't need to which means they're not charging an increase of they're not a surplus charge just to pay for their advertising budget. So let's say you're going to go out and buy a can of paint. It's worth 20 bucks. Oh, don't forget you're on the main street. You got rent and that parking lot that, 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 that parks 8,000 cars that no one ever uses. Yeah, that costs money, right? That's millions of dollars to keep that asphalt paved. Now your paint's already 40 bucks. And then you got a hundred people walking around who are staff and air conditioning and oh, don't forget advertising and sales and marketing. Well, wow, now the can of paint is $65 a gallon. Wow. <clears throat> well, how do I turn my $20 can of paint into only 12 bucks? Because that's all I can really afford to buy it for if I'm selling it at 65. Well, that's no problem. I'm just going to sell a cheaper version of the same paint and we're going to market it as sexy. Okay. Yeah. God bless you. Right. What's that old thing? At one o'clock in the morning after everybody's had a bunch of drinks and the lights are down, everything's sexy. You don't want to buy that can of paint. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Listen, um, if they're advertising, it means they're selling you junk. There's a whole lot of money wasted on advertising. It's not necessary. And if you got to pay somebody else to tell you where you should shop, you're already buying junk. Now, wholesale is dead. Here's a new rule. Used to be you'd have a manufacturer, you get a distributor ship, they sell it to a wholesaler, they sell it to a retailer, they'd spend all kinds of money saying, Hey, go buy this product over here, and the doors are open, and here's our address. We're on the main street, you can't miss us. Boom, you go in there and you buy junk and you go out happy because you're used to comparing Big Macs and Whoppers. And you don't know that there's an option. You don't know that you can get steak and seafood. 
You don't know that you can, for a few bucks, you can learn how to be your own chef. So <clears throat> let's go through the formula. The cost of the product plus the location plus the labor plus the marketing and advertising, the higher all of those things are, the lower the value you're getting in that store. It's just normal. Now, as a homeowner, what you need to do is, is go, okay, so how do I identify this without getting a job as a contractor? I want you to Google right now, um, pick something, flooring, okay? Flooring wholesalers near me. There we go. Flooring wholesalers near me, all right? And you're going to do that, and, and let's see what we get. You're going to pull this up on the screen for me. This is awesome. We'll give you an example. Because there's a few key things that you got to learn here about searching out a wholesaler. Flooring wholesaler near me. Wholesaler is a big key. Go past the ads. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Um, okay. So here's a company. I'm, I'm down here in Florida right now, so I'm just cheating. Uh, flooring Pro Source of Orlando. I have no idea who this is. Can we click on that? Because Google will give you a landing page. It's going to give you a website option or something, right? They're going to find out what's the hours of operation. Well, these people even have a showroom. Okay, they're open eight to five. That's probably retail. You back out. And what you do is you keep on searching until you find someone that opens up at six or seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, that's the secret. Wholesalers don't open up at eight or nine. They open up at six or seven. Because that's when the contractors are picking up the materials so they can show up at the job for 8 o'clock. All right? So if you do a Google search and you find a store that opens up at 6 or 7, chances are they're a wholesaler. That's all I'm saying. They probably close at 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. They're not open in the evenings. They're not open on weekends. Maybe they'll do a half day Saturday. But that's traditionally the business model that you're looking for. So you can go flooring wholesale. You can go um, millwork. Okay, you can go find a place that sells doors and trim. All right. Um, if you're in a, in a rural area, you're going to be a little bit out of luck. You got to go find that major city next to you. Okay. Because um, builders and contractors generally only work on wholesale in larger districts. So you got to have at least about a 30 to 50,000 population in one city, and there'll be somebody there. For instance, um, I'm down in Florida right now in the Lake County area, and there's a company here called Romac. And if you're not from the local area, you've never heard of these guys. They don't advertise, right? They're, they're, they're not sponsoring ball teams all over town. They're not on the news. They're not on radio and TV. They're on billboards. They got, they got some stores in a kind of somewhat seedy part of town. It's old commercial industrial area. And you know what? It works great for them because the cost is low. And they've got great staff. And they know what the hell they're doing. And they do everything from trusses to doors and windows and everything else. They've got massive business going on. They got drive through lumber pickup. Like back in the old day when you didn't have to get out of your car to get your lumber, you just drove through the lumber yard and they'd throw it in your truck for you. Whoa, ha, it's a miracle. It's 1970 again. This kind of stuff exists. But all you got to do is you got to just go make one switch. Switch off the brain, off the advertising and the marketing. And every time you see marketing and advertising go, this is evil. This is counterproductive to me being successful. Okay? Use Google. For the first time in history, you've got access to somebody who's going to tell you how to do the job. You've got access to all the information as to everybody in business in your city. And all you got to do is go find them, make a quick call and say, hey, can I buy direct from you? I'm a homeowner. Here's the thing. And I'm going to blow your mind with this. The last couple of years during all this COVID mess, the companies, the number one challenge they had was getting product. Supply chain, right? Sales are doubling all over the place because the housing boom, everything's doubling. Everybody's renovating. Everybody's flipping. Interest rates are low. The whole world's going crazy in real estate. Oh, quick, we got to buy our new house. We got to fix it up. We, gotta, we can't travel. Let's fix up the house. So everybody's selling everything like mad dogs, okay? And, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go here, but let's assume for example, that a flooring company has manufactured 2 billion square feet of a laminate floor. Last year, they sold it all and installed it all. But don't forget their business model is not to sell to you. It's to sell to contractors and flooring companies and, 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 and installers. And so they made 2 billion, they installed and sold 2 billion. 
This year, the biggest challenge they have is they made another $2 billion, $2 billion square feet of flooring, but they've only got enough staff and contractors to install one and a half billion square feet. So they got warehousing and inventory issues. They're panicking because they don't have enough guys to install the flooring this year. And so now they're like, well, where do we go? <laughs> they're going to you. They're opening up the floodgates. So now the wholesalers are saying, yeah, we'll sell to you, the homeowner. Because we're motivated because we got inventory. We can't get rid of this stuff. This is a good problem to have. I was at the trade show. And the people that are in charge of training people are panicking this year because they don't have enough people. They don't have bodies on the ground. So if you're a homeowner and you're looking to take advantage of the market, forget all the naysayers. Forget all the doom and gloom. Forget all the oh, housing is going to crash. Everything's going to... It's all a bunch of BS, okay? They're just distracting you. They're playing a shell game. Bottom line is, if you own a home, don't sell it and move right now. The mortgage rates are nuts. Re renovate it. Remodel it. Turn your three to a 400. Turn your four to a five. Turn your five to an eight. Now's the time because you can get wholesale pricing on materials. You can get expert tutorials, right? If you want to learn how to do plumbing even better than I do, because I'm not a master plumber. There's a guy on YouTube called Roger Wakefield. I met him at the trade show. Great guy, just like he seems on YouTube. He knows plumbing. He's a bloody plumber. Get on YouTube, learn how to do stuff. You, you're more than capable. I'm telling you right now, you watch 10 videos from Roger Wakefield, you'll learn more than an apprentice plumber on a job site in three weeks because they barely even talk to that kid. They just say, go to the corner and connect all the stuff. Like, if you're here, you should know what you're doing already. <laughs> They're brutal. But the point is this. Wholesalers are now selling to retail. They're selling right out of their wholesale store. And it's a little different. You know, you're going to roll up. You're going to be like, is this the place? Google Maps is going to take you there. They're not going to have a fancy sign. It's not going to be a fancy parking lot. There's not going to be no, you know, like a cart stall area where you push your cart when you're done shopping, right? It's just going to be a roll up garage door or maybe a little man door on the side of a building out of nowhere. And what you're going to do is you're going to walk in there and it's going to be dark. It's not well lit. It's going to be a little chaotic. It's going to be confusing. What you're looking for is a counter. And there'll be some guy sitting behind that counter. And a lot of times they got a 45 pound ashtray there and a great big stogie going, right? And, then, and they got a computer that looks like it's like from 1975. And they're like, uh, they're not saying hello, welcome. Can I get you anything? Would you like, can I get you a coffee? They're just sitting there minding their own business. And they're waiting for the next guy to walk up to that counter who knows what the hell they want and ask for it. And if you stand there looking confused, someone's going to walk right in front of you, put stuff on the counter. They're going to make their purchase and leave because they're contractors and they're in a hurry. But in that environment, you can go and buy them at pay at a flooring wholesaler. I'm telling you right now, there's products on the floor in those places that are $15 a bag for thin set. And you're going to a box store to pay 45 to 60 bucks for the same stuff. Because you're paying for a parking lot and people running around in aprons telling you it's an aisle eight and lots of lighting and customer service and lots of advertising. And it means nothing to you because you've already know what you want because you've got your training. Don't waste your time and energy. All right. I've been ranting for like 40 minutes on this, but let me just run through this quick list. There are um, places where you can go to buy windows, places you can go to buy interior doors, trim work, flooring, flooring installation supplies, um, tile, um, exterior facade, like siding and cement fiberboard, even roofing materials you can get as a contractor price. Um, uh, lumber material for sure. It's not the greatest market. Drywall, yes, but all depends. But most of these major purchases, you can get you know, 20, 30, 40, 50% off. You don't have to pay retail. Right. And they'll deliver to the house. And in a lot of cases, it's free. How much prep should you have before walking up to the counter? Like, should I ask for brands or just be like, I need X pounds of thin set? Well, you know, that's a great question. And, and to be honest with you, the more specific the, the situation, the more difficult it is. But listen to this. This is the key. The guy working behind the counter has been told by his boss, sell to a homeowner. And they can smell you from a mile away because you smell clean. Right. You're wearing clean clothes in most cases. They know you're a homeowner. They're not surprised to see you there. What you say is, this is what I'm doing. What's the right thin set in your store for my application? Because there's more than one manufacturer. 
And there's all kinds of different brands and they, they'll carry different lines depending on who they're in bed with, right? So let's say you're gonna, oh, you walk up, classic example. I'm, I'm just installing a 12 by 24 tile on a wooden subfloor. Which thin set do I need for that? And they'll, they'll sell it to you. 